Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kahakudash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, the Ruel. Peace and bless to the whole for lack. GMS, stop and listen. Come on, short lesson. I was just looking on my uh, message board and they were. Uh, the uh, elder brother, uh, Yasha Wanba, had posted this uh, article in the Dallas News. It says, police arrest suspect in deadly shootout near Clown Plaza in downtown Dallas. Now, he said on the message that this happened around the time when they got ready to start camp, uh, which is, yeah, it's about 6.30. So this guy here, it says, uh, this is look like a J, you know, Probably tribe of Judah, maybe Gad. It says police arrested a suspect in a downtown Dallas shootout that killed a bystander and wounded second second man Friday night. Police arrested 24-year-old Derek Florence Jr. in the shooting near Crown Plaza Hotel. He faces a manslaughter charge. A second shooter is still at large police says Saturday morning so it must have been like an argument could have been a fight because it, it's not first degree so I don't know if they're going to jack it up to first degree but hell second degree going to go to prison for a long time it's judgment dozens of officers were called to Elm and North Griffin Street just after 6.30pm which camp had started you know so the spirit Spirit was heavy in Dallas last night because I was watching the end of the video and a uh, particular woman was at the intersection. I guess she wasn't going fast enough for everybody else. So they like threw, the brother said they threw uh, water bottles at her car. So she got out to deal with road rage and left her car in drive and a car jumped up on the curb and ran through the damn store right there on that corner of uh, Eckert and Maine. Now, that if you ever been down there, that's a kind of high curve right there. So if you got your car and drive, the car will move. It'll move at a slow motion, but not fast enough to jump a curve like that one if you've ever been down there. So that let that let you know that the angels, well, the angel actually a guided that car to jump that curve in drive that, that it really goes at a speed that's barely past idle. And jump the curb and run through the damn uh, door of the building. Hey man, that, hey the spirit was heavy in downtown Dallas last night. Uh, it says police. Police said the two groups of people had gotten into a confrontation. Yeah, you because know, it's second degree. That's what it says. Probably had to be like a fight or something. At Elm and North Lamar Street, they continued to walk east on Elm then started shooting when they got to North Griffith Street. The man who was killed was sitting at a nearby bus stop. His name was not released. So that's uh, what well, that's what you call an innocent bystander. They got shot at the bus stop. So a guy that got nothing to do with it got killed at the bus stop. Right. So you would call that an innocent bystander, but that's judgment of the Lord. Because the scripture says this uh, in Job, Job 4 and 7, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent or where or where were the righteous cut off. So whoever perished, whoever perished, right, destroyed, perished, died to be exterminated. Right, to be killed. Whoever got killed being innocent, innocent, clean, free from exempt, free from guilt, free from punishment, free or exempt from obligations, innocent, guiltless, guiltless, right? So the man who got killed, he done something. He had done sins in his past life that he had pay he had to pay the judgment for in this particular life. Who knows? They didn't give his age or his name, 
but whatever he did, he's probably done done things even in this in this particular eon that he hasn't got paid for. You know, he's probably done things now that he that that he could have been worried of death for. And the Lord let him slide because it says, because sentence, uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men are fully set to do them, to do evil, right? He's probably done something else that he was worried of death for and the Lord didn't kill him. So hey, he just continued on and probably, you know how Jake be sometimes be like, man, just go and change my life. I need to go and get right. Who knows? He could have been uh, not doing those evils for two years, but the Lord was like, "Nah, I got to pay you back for what you've done. And I'm going to make it look like you're innocent. I'm going to have you sitting at a bus stop. Just waiting on the bus, probably got a, a uh, just going home, uh, probably just got out of work, might have a new job. He doing what he, what he considered doing good in America. You know, got a good life. And then the Lord take you out. That's how the Lord works, man. Y'all about some y'all shots. It's cold, cold power. Hey, he rejoiced. The scripture said in Deuteronomy, he rejoices, he rejoices to see you uh do good. He rejoiced, he rejoiced to uh see you uh basically uh when, when you, let me get that. Let me get that. Rejoice to see you do good. It's in Deuteronomy. Rejoice. Rejoice. I know it's in Deuteronomy. Uh, rejoice. Uh, Deuteronomy 2863. One of the curses. <clears throat> it says it's one of the curses. Deuteronomy 2863. And it shall come to pass that as the lawyer Howard rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the lawyer Howard will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land, whether thy goal is to possess it. This is one of the curses, man. You know, he rejoices to see you doing good, and he rejoices rejoice, hey, to your destruction. This is uh, Sirach 39 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire, hell, and famine, and death, and all th these were created for vengeance. So that death that you just saw, which people would call the innocent bystander, it was a death for vengeance of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So, A, hey, with that, all praises, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekaha Kodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, GMS, who well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Just come up with a short lesson to water to the Zaquan that sent the article. Shalom.